Jared Poland, Fronos photo.com and I'm surrounded here by five prints one two three four five well five big ass prints that are sitting here and I've gotten these done actually I've got 21 total here in my loft 21 big ass prints that are all 30 by 45 or larger um, and I've had all of these made at Taylor photo uh, but this isn't a video about that this is a video about the impression that you make with big ass prints and actually just having prints made these days because a lot of people have gotten away from making prints. It's the industry. Everything's digital so you're used to looking at it on the screen. You're used to looking at it on an iPad. But you know when somebody walks into my loft and they see the prints like this. This is a 40 by 60. This modest shot is 40 by 60. Look, let's lay down and do this. It's almost as long as I am. Yes, I just said that. Uh, it's a huge, big ass print. You know, you look at these walls here and you, and you see these big prints and anybody walking into here goes, wow, those are big. Sure, a lot of people now are throwing up LCD screens and flat panels and just letting photos run on that, but what happens when they go vertical? They're much smaller, plus they're backlit um, and it's not really a photographic well, it's not a photographic print if it's on screen. So what I'm talking about here is that the, you can make prints these days and I wouldn't stop making prints. You want to set yourself apart from what other people are doing. You know, everybody's now going around with an iPad and going here, look at my photos. But you know what? I've got a, a ton of books, photo books from Adorama Pics that I walk around with because they're 9 by 12 when you open it it's a it's a 12 by 18 full frame image when i open that book that makes an impression when i throw that on a table when i'm first meeting somebody uh, it's all about making an impression i like to print big ass prints why well one because they show the quality of work that i am creating when you can make a print this large especially this at 8000 iso this is 10000 iso from the d3s when you can make a print this large and it holds up, when I sit here like this and I'm going, that looks incredible? Well, what's that gonna say to a client of mine that's taking a walk through here or if I bring this to somebody? It's going to say a hell of a lot for you. So keep this in mind when you're thinking about showing your work somewhere. If you make big ass prints and you make a big ass impression on somebody, they're going to look to you to make a big ass impression for them when you're looking to, or when they're looking for somebody to do a job. So keep all of that in mind. And these are all real photographic prints. I, you know, having 21 of these now, I can literally put it in my big ass blue container and ship it around the world and have it as a gallery show because this stuff makes an impression. And I look to do that sometime soon. So really what this video is all about is just showing you that big prints are still you know they're in you can make them they make a big impression if I was to roll this up and take it with me and show somebody they would go wow more than if I showed them this photo or this photo or this photo on an iPad or just emailed it to somebody so what what this is all about is stepping away from what everybody else is doing and making yourself stand out and one way to stand out is making big ass prints because they make an impression Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.